Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video here on my channel and yeah in today's video I want to show you guys how to upgrade or level your cards in Splinterlands. So yeah guys to do this we will have to go to our cards and search by cards we own because our starter cards we don't own we are not able to level up. But yeah so we have to go on cards we own. And now I will take a look at my wave runner because I already have four cards of it and I want to level this card up. So yeah guys to check how to level your card and see the different stats we will have to go on the card we want to level up and then go up here on stats. So in the stats we can see all the different levels our cards can reach. So cards in Splinterlands have a total of 10 levels as you guys can see from 1 to 10. So level 1 is of course the lowest and level 10 the highest cards. In the stats you can also check which abilities are changing when you are leveling up your card. Currently my level 1 wave runner has 2 melee attack Three here, zero armor and four health points. And yeah guys, if I level this card up to level two, the only thing which will be changing will be this here, which will go up from three to four. My melee attack and health as well as abilities will stay the same. But yeah, for example, if I upgrade it to level three now, I will have five instead of four hard points, which is pretty cool. So yeah guys, here you can also see how many cards are required in order to level your card up. So to get level 10 you will need a total of 400 cards. But as you guys can see in level 10 this card is pretty crazy. It has 4 melee attack, 7 health points, also 5 here and has way more abilities than the normal ones. So yeah guys, in order to upgrade your card, you will have to go on the cards you own and as you can see next level 0 out of 4. And yeah, as you guys can see I have 4 level 1 cards of the Wave Runner now. And yeah guys, if I want to combine them now, you can see if I click here on combine, this will combine 4 cards into 1 at level 1 with 3 out of 4 cards towards level 2. This cannot be undone, are you sure? Actually I want to cancel because I want to completely upgrade the card to level 2. So as they said in the stats, to be able to upgrade your card to level 2, you will need a total of 5 cards at level 1. So I will go on the for sale section and buy one more Wraith Runner level 2 with Dark Energy Crystals. So it will just be 41.859 Dark Energy Crystals. And I will go ahead and buy this card. So yeah guys, as you can see now I have a total of 5 Wraith Runners which I will need in order to upgrade my card to level 2. So what I can do now, I click on the card up here which will combine all of them together. And now it says here, this will combine 5 cards into 1 at level 2 with 0 out of 9 cards towards level 3. And this cannot be undone, are you sure? Yes guys I'm sure so I will click OK. And yeah as you guys can see now I only have one card left which is the Wave Runner level 2. And I have 0 out of 9 cards to upgrade it to level 3. So what I also want to show you guys are those BCX which stands for base card experience. And it just means that at the moment 5 cards are inside this level 2 card right now. So another thing I want to show you is I will buy one more card on the market. So just one more level 1 Wraith Runner. I will again pay with Dark Energy Crystals. And yeah, as you can see this one only has an BCX of 1 because it's only one card. But now I'm also able to combine those two cards. So I will again just have to click here. And now this will combine two cards into one at level 2 with 1 out of 9 cards towards level 3. So this means that now I have already got 1 out of 9 levels if I combine them and my BCX will be at 6 so I will click on OK. So you guys can see now as I told you my BCX has changed to 6 because I have a total of 6 cards inside of this card. You can also see now that I already have 1 out of 9 cards inside of there in order to upgrade this card to level 3. 
And also down here you can see that this little green line has updated. So this little green line right here is just an indicator on how far the card is to another upgrade. Because I have one out of nine cards inside that till level three, it's just one ninth here. So yeah guys, I hope I could help all of you out with this quick splinter lens tutorial on how to upgrade your cards. If I did, please don't forget to smash the like button for my YouTube algorithm. And if you guys don't play Splinterlands yet, check out the link down in my description to start playing today. And yeah, hopefully, see you guys in the next video. Have a great day and bye!